my channel it's your favorite girl i'm on and julian and i'm here with another video for you guys okay now you know i'm gonna say the same thing your girl's having a webinar november 28th so make sure you are tuned in shout out to everyone who's gotten tickets already this is probably going to be the best webinar i've ever had like ah, i'm super excited but if you didn't get tickets, it's the very first link in the description box. So if you need help with marketing or branding for your business, if you have an already existing business, or if you're in the process of starting a business, this is a webinar that you need to be at. Need to be at. I'm dropping gems, I'm dropping workbooks, I'm dropping so much information for you guys. So make sure that you guys are present. Make sure that you're there. If for any reason you purchase a ticket and can't even make the webinar, you will be receiving a lifetime replay as well. So make sure if you guys are interested that you do click the link just to even read more information pertaining to the webinar. But it's literally this freaking Saturday. So make sure you get your tickets before all the slots fill up because baby, they are filling, okay? But we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video. So the reason that I'm making this video is because a lot of people still have, I call them basic questions, but realistically, when you're in the process of starting a business, you don't really know what to do. Uh, so I decided to just make a clear video pertaining to policies and things like that for you guys. When you're in the process of creating policies for your business, you have to go over a lot of things. And the things that you need to go over is what essentially do you want the rules to be for your business um, and in that policy in the policies you want to list a lot of things you want to list things pertaining to your shipping process what payments you accept uh, how does the refund policy work work the exchange policy damaged goods and so forth so you really need to actually sit down and go over these little pieces of information so that you can collectively come up with your policies for your business so as far as damaged or lost packaging, you need to make it be known, are you responsible for that? Or is that something that your customers would have to take up with the postal service since it was in their care at the time? You also need to go over um, how long your processing or shipping time is and when should your customers be expecting their packaging. You also need to put in things like your holidays and, and will shipping change during holiday seasons and so forth. And this is just a really quick tip that is something that you should put in your policies is during the holiday time, shipping estimated time frames could range and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, put it in more professional words than that, of course, but you wanna make sure you put all of that in your policies. Um, but something cool that I actually came or stumbled upon was a website by the name termly.io and basically it's just a website that helps you go ahead and put all of your policies in a professional document uh, so how it works is you just make an account with them and then you just go through the different questionnaires that they give you regarding the policies or the term and conditions you want to have for your business they professionally put all you know put all of your wordings together and things like that so everything looks super good and then from there you can go ahead and send that information to your website or you know copy that information over to your website so then you can link it to your website so termly is an amazing source that you guys can use if you're not too good with like wording things or if you don't exactly know what to put into your policies and things like that this is an amazing website that you can use uh, you can use the free version of this and then also like any other website they have different like paid options that you can utilize but the free option works perfectly fine and it literally details everything from a to z so you don't have to worry about wording anything you literally plug in everything that you essentially want to be in your terms and conditions and then they just kind of like morph it all together if that makes sense but this is another cool option that you can use for your policies but really quickly we're just going to go over it one more time with your policies you need to make sure you have these things you need to make sure you have your processing and shipping time in your policies you need to make sure you have your holiday estimated arrivals and if they're going to be delayed or not in your policies you need to also have if your shipping orders during holiday season during the holiday season or if your business is completely closed on national holidays like christmas thanksgivings things like that some other things that you need to put in there is if you uh you're responsible or if your company's responsible for any type of damaged goods or lost items during the whole transitioning process from uh your business address to the customer and so forth 
I hope this video did help you guys. If you guys want a more lengthy video with me going heavily into detail regarding this particular topic, let me know. But I love, love, love each and every one of you. Don't forget, to, don't forget about the webinar on November 28th. Get your tickets. It's in the description box. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.